tubers. It's your old pal Jackhammer Mike here with another lame video. Not really. It's me, the contingency plan. So the first thing I wanted to do was uh, the show and tell, because that's mandatory now. Mike made up a rule. I wanted to start with uh, something that Mike actually got uh, for himself, and he got one for me, which is totally awesome. And that is this light. And I'm a big fan of lights. I just like having lights. I think this is like 630 lumen. Uh, so that's very cool. It is, I believe, four AAA batteries. Yes, four AAA batteries. And it's adjustable as far as, um, you know, a pinpoint spotlight or a, uh, a wide angle, more of a floodlight. And uh, it works really well. We took them outside last night on the street and uh, there were some cars probably a good 300 yards down the street and we were able to illuminate their license plates easily. Uh, lighten up the trees around the neighborhood from a pretty good distance. Uh, seen really great detail. So very cool for uh, Mike to get these for us and I really appreciate it. This will be used a lot. Uh, the other thing I wanted to share was um, I got this just uh, probably two or three days ago. These are uh, eight inch steel Smith & Wesson throwing knives. Uh, there's three of them in this pack. They are, they are very cool. So now I just have to uh, set up a target, get a board, and uh, practice. So I'm really looking forward to getting good with these throwing knives. It's an art form, and uh, it's going to be fun to see uh, how well I do and how quickly I progress. So I'll probably be uh, filming that too for a future video to show the progress I make learning how to throw knives. The other thing was I put up a video a few days ago asking for questions. Uh, now I've gotten some pretty good ones, but next month, in about almost a month from today, one of our uh, subscribers who has a channel, Prepping Sapper, will be here and we're going to go out and spend uh, two days and nights out in the desert doing uh, shooting and just everything. And we were kicking around the idea of doing like a fireside chat at the end of each evening uh, where we basically sit around uh, a campfire and just talk. And I'm wondering if that might not be a better place to answer these questions. So you can ask questions for myself. For Jackhammer Mike, for Prepping Sapper, or all of us, or just uh, any questions in general, send them to the email address in the other video, the Indigo Raven 33 at Gmail, and we will compile a list. So I don't think I'm going to make a video on the questions I've received so far. I think what I'll do is take those questions with us, and that way we'll have um, three of us to answer each question or to chime in on it as opposed to uh, just me. So keep sending questions to indigoraven33 at gmail and those will all go with us when we go camping and probably Friday night and Saturday night we are going to record us uh, just talking about whatever as well as uh, answering those questions. So please keep sending the questions in and uh, you'll get three of us answering them instead of just myself. And the last thing I wanted to hit on is um, I don't know how many of you have been keeping tabs on this whole Sunspot Observatory thing going on in New Mexico. Um, I've looked into it and I get a lot of red flags like immediately. Like soon as, 
soon as somebody starts talking, they immediately go into all outer space, heliocentric, Copernican, satanic nonsense that we've been had drilled into us since uh, birth, basically, about sunspots and uh, solar flares and Planet X, Nibiru, uh, there's an asteroid coming, um, just all this nonsense. Um, the answer to all of that is no, none of that's happening. Um, for those of you who aren't aware of it, there's an observatory in uh, New Mexico, uh, I think it's just called the Sunspot Observatory, and um, last week, I think, or it was like the 5th, I'm not sure, I think it happened... I think it was kind of over before anybody knew it was going on uh, as far as uh, nationally. Just the people that lived in the area and worked in the area knew this was taking place. But apparently, now I'm going off like what was said, there's supposedly there's going to be uh, some sort of press conference this coming week where they're going to tell us the truth, which it's going to be nonsense. but. Basically what happened, this Sunspot Observatory, it's kind of like a community. It's like fenced and there's houses and different offices and uh, it has a post office. And something happened where apparently they're saying, well they're not really saying much of anything. Apparently something was observed and you know they made, they went through, I guess they have a policy procedure as to, you know, these uh, steps you take if, if something is observed. Uh, they're not saying what was observed and, you know, so the, the people, the worker bees observed whatever and then they made a phone call and their superior came in, checked all the data, checked all the equipment, make sure it was running right and, and confirmed their, whatever it was they saw moved that up the chain and it eventually got to where the FBI showed up. There were Black Hawk helicopters involved apparently. Um, allegedly the FBI came in, had the local sheriff basically st uh, stationed at the entrance as like kind of crowd control to keep anybody from coming in or I don't know. Uh, the FBI went in, I guess they evacuated everybody uh, they closed the post office down, uh, basically kicked everyone out, did who knows what in there. Um, there's some videos you can see on YouTube where people have gone in there with cameras, uh, and it's like a little ghost town now. Um, there's this huge observatory that's uh, locked, and uh, there's still all these government vehicles parked there, just abandoned. Um, just like I said, everything's empty and locked and closed, and there's just nobody. Like they just left, and they had police tape up. It wasn't really police tape though. It just said caution. It didn't say like police line do not cross. So these people went in uh, with cameras. There were uh, several of them, and they basically just said, "Hey, this place has been deserted. It's been abandoned. Uh, the FBI hasn't said anything other than it was closed for national security reasons." and that there's going to be some sort of upgrade done and then but the people that went in there were no there's no construction equipment they're not like fixing or replacing anything it's just abandoned but uh apparently they are hinting around or have said it will reopen but that's all they've said so far is that uh due to national security reasons it was shut down um and of course then the rumors are flying like i said um uh, they saw an asteroid headed for us. Uh, apparently some video was released showing the sun uh, observed from this uh, observatory, but part of the sun, like one side of it was redacted, like they had a black box over it, like there was something there you weren't supposed to see. I'm calling bullshit on the whole thing. Um, initially I thought it was like just some sort of a a precursor to disclosure to say oh the aliens are coming or you know or something to do with uh, you know they were going to shut down the grid and blame it on a, um, a solar flare or some you know 
solar storm nonsense or um, you know just something space-based related or alien related but the problem with that is if that's what they were using this for it should be really getting a lot of airtime uh, you think that they would really be pushing this story and build up the uh, you know the mystique behind why did they close it what they find if they were going to then disclose like you know well the aliens are coming we saw the mothership it's headed this way or you know there's a comet or there's you know the sun's doing something and we're scared of it's going to wipe out you know the power grid and if that was the case i would expect it to be talked about on all the major news networks so that they every they, they got to get as many people to know this is going on so that when they flip the switch everybody's like aha it was what they saw at the observatory that's what it's real it's true the aliens are coming or whatever uh, I'm not seeing that I went on Google News and I went through like the first two pages and I didn't see any mention of it so that's confusing why they're not making a big deal out of it if they're if this is some sort of a setup or something to be used to lay a foundation for some deception so I honestly don't know what the hell's going on it could just be a distraction from something else that's about to come out but again they're not promoting it so it can't really distract it's very um, so I don't think a lot of people know about it I think there's people talking about it and wondering and putting up videos but it's not like if you went out on the street and asked 10 people I'd say eight or nine of them probably have no idea what you're talking about so I, it's very confusing. Um, I know what it's not. It's not that they saw an asteroid coming. It's not that Nibiru is on its way. There's not some planetary collision about to happen. The, um, there are no aliens coming. Uh, there's no, you know, solar flare headed our. It's none of that nonsense. Um, we live in an enclosed system with a dome above us. There's no space. There's nothing coming at us from vast distances and none of that's happening so what it is exactly I'm not sure where they're going with this nonsense again it's just a distraction as far as I'm concerned until I see more evidence of something as far as um, what their agenda is I would be surprised if next week they might hold some sort of a press conference and say something but I just I don't think it's gonna I'd be surprised if it got, you know, or CNN and Fox cut away to, you know, show this press conference or, I just, I don't think it's real. I, it's, I think it's just a, a, a staged, scripted part of the matrix that we live in and it's just one more distraction, one more thing to get people talking, you know, because if you get enough people saying, oh, it's aliens, that, that just lays the foundation for there's such a thing as aliens um, so anyway I don't know that's what my take so far on the sunspot observatory nonsense uh, if any of you have heard about it and you're worried or wondered wondering what's going on it's just horseshit don't don't let it occupy any of your day um, that's not how this all ends with something that's you know coming from outer space I guarantee you that so um, again thank you Jackhammer Mike for the awesome uh, light uh, look for upcoming knife throwing videos which could be amusing I've never really been a knife thrower so it's gonna be uh, I'm gonna be like basically starting it uh, at ground zero with uh, learning how to how to throw these things I do know I did some research there's different methods, and I'm going to try and perfect what's called the no-spin knife throwing. Um, to me, that makes the most sense to try and get it just to fly straight as opposed to when it's revolving. If it doesn't hit point first, it's not going to stick. It's just going to bounce if it hits, you know, like this, or if it hits um, handle first. Is there's two methods to throw. One is you know for it to re revolve, and it's got a hit like you know if it hits like this it's just it's not going to work the uh, the no spin throw the knife basically 
starts vertical and it just the point comes down to where it's level flight. So that's what I'm going to try and uh, perfect is the uh, the no spin throwing. So that'll be fun. And lastly, again to reiterate the uh, video I was going to do on uh, questions. Keep sending those to Indigo Raven 33 uh, and put a subject of uh, Ask Me Anything or Fireside Chat, whatever you want to say. It doesn't matter at this point. And uh, I will collect those and then uh, October 19th and 20th when we do our uh, Fireside Chats. And they won't be live because we're going to be out in the desert. They'll be uh, filmed and then uh, when we come home uh, we'll edit them. Um, they'll be Jackhammer Mike, myself, and Prepping Sapper, all three have GoPros, and uh, Mike has a another camera. Um, so there'll be three or four cameras filming this fireside chat type thing. Um, so we'll have a lot of video to go through, and also we will have three different channels that this stuff's probably going to end up on. So I encourage you, if you're not a subscriber to Jackhammer Mike, to do so, and also Prepping Sapper. That's two words, prepping, sapper, and jackhammer mic is all one word. Subscribe to those channels, and I mean, they have other cool stuff on their channels too, but they will also, uh, in a little over a month, have what we end up with from the, uh, the talking around the campfire. So I encourage you to subscribe to those two channels, and I will see you later. I hope you had a great weekend. I have a friend from high school who is in the area and I'm supposed to meet her tonight because uh, I haven't seen her since I lived in New Mexico and she's passing through so um, I gotta go get ready. I don't know when she's gonna call but it should be shortly so I hope everyone again enjoy your weekend and peace.